You're watching Morning at NTV. Welcome back. We're glad you're still with us. We are taking note of uh, the construction industry uh, through the eyes of uh, contractors. Mm, that's an interesting perspective there. Many times the developments in the real estate uh, space is widely seen by those who appreciate the fact that some people are making investments and perhaps making a lot of money as you drive around Kampala. But looking at it from the eyes of the contractors, uh, some might conveniently claim they are making losses. I don't believe that. But we have some people who are going to offer us some perspective on that. Mariam Namiwa is from uh, the Uganda National Association of Building and Civil Engineering Contractors. Welcome to the program. And uh, welcome to the program too, Martha Namuaya, Project Manager at SMS Construction. Happy to be here. Let me begin from uh, mm -hmm. the perspective of the body that brings yeah, together yeah. civil engineers and uh, builders. What is the impetus this morning? Yes, uh, thank you very much. Good morning and mm -hmm. good morning to our viewers. My name is Mariam Namia. I am a civil engineer mm -hmm. and a board member of the Uganda National Association of Building and Civil Engineering Contractors, okay. UNAPSEC. Um, I wish to point out that UNAPSEC mm -hmm. is an umbrella body of uh, genuine contractors. We are a member-driven association mm -hmm. and have been in existence for the last 30 years. Okay. We have over 422 members and uh, our role in advocacy, capacity building and networking has significantly contributed to the sustainability of the construction industry, which I may point out yeah. contributes over 12% of the country's GDP. So we are very proud of what we do. Mm. Okay. You spoke about genuine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's an interesting submission. It yes. only points to the fact that uh, the industry is mired with a lot of uh, not genuine people. You will tell us how you are uh, tackling that particular uh, dilemma. Martha, you are a contractor yes. with uh, SMS construction. What's your perspective in as far as ahead of the contractor's anniversary celebrations? Um, good morning, our viewers. My name is Martha Namoya, <coughs> as earlier introduced. I am a project manager with SMS Construction. Um, UNABSEC has a run and uh, has, a, uh, has a run that they have scheduled mm. for the 17th of December. Okay. And SMS Construction, as a local contractor here, that is taken over or mm. governed by UNABSEC. Uh -huh. um, we saw it fit to come in and sponsor the run, to be a part of the run, to be mm. a part of UNABSEC and all, and all its activities. Mm. Yeah. All right. 30 years of the association means there's a lot that has happened in terms of evolution, Definitely. especially when it comes to the monitoring and uh, evaluation of how things are done. But most importantly, setting the pace for quality assurance. Mm -hmm. uh, from the association's perspective, what are the iconic uh, aspects that have shaped the industry over the last 30 years that are worth uh, celebrating? Oh, um, I'll speak in regard to you, NAPSEC. Mm. As uh, you have stated and as I stated earlier, we've been in existence for the last 30 years and um, our main role has been advocacy. Uh, I'm sure you've seen us on so many uh, TV shows, uh, engagements, we organize engagements for our members. Um, the construction industry and contractors in general face so many challenges mm -hmm. and UNABSEC has always been at the forefront. Yeah, um, trying, yes, yeah. uh, seeing that we, we make sure contractors are well catered for, get their payments on time. But then again, we try to regulate the construction industry by uh, making sure we have genuine contractors. Now you asked me about genuine and why we say genuine is because each and every member of UNAPSEC mm. is vetted before they join UNAPSEC. Okay. So 
It is, in fact, we've never had any instance of a UNABSEC member doing shoddy works. And in case that happens, we have measures in place. Mm -hmm. You have a fallback position to UNABSEC in case it's a, a ministry, a, a public sector, private sector. Mm -hmm. UNABSEC is a fallback to make sure we keep our members in check. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And, uh, well, it will, I will ask. SMS construction is well within the working. Genuine. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Among the genuine contractors. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me ask a question uh, from a layman's perspective when it comes to uh, the construction sector. We've seen many people look at it as the new place for investment. Mm. And uh, we are often told that in order to invest, you must be able to understand the dynamics of the industry. And uh, many times we do not understand. We just want to ensure that we put our money there and make a little bit of uh, returns after some time. What are the dynamics right now that could be able to pull investors into the industry from the perspective of a contractor? Sorry. What are the dynamics right now in the construction industry? As a contractor, yes. you would advise somebody like this is where you put your money and perhaps debunk some of uh, what could be misunderstood myths about uh, construction a sector that of course takes in the real estate where some of us want to quickly uh, have, <laughs> want to look into. Mm. Uh, what could be your advice on that front? Um, my advice mm. is of course the dynamics are always there mm. in any in any investment and more so here in construction yeah. we have a lot of local contractors and then we have a lot of foreign contractors as well yeah that alone is a big is a big dynamic mm. that <coughs> maybe hinders very many of our local contractors from coming in because they do not have the capital uh -huh. to invest into the construction yeah. and um, but I think um, local contractors can still can still come in because we have local content mm. we have local content and it's um, it's a margin of preference for most of the local contractors okay yes what are the critical capacity building issues is it a lack of uh, support of the investment environment that is put by government or it's a case of uh, genuinely not having enough money Yes, genuinely. <laughs> uh, see, uh, that question is a very broad question, and okay. we could discuss all day long because there are so many, so many factors, mm. uh, especially what uh, my colleague here has talked about, the lack of capital. Mm. That's why we encourage our members, because our members in UNAPSEC are in different classes. Ah. So we encourage our members to form joint ventures so that the bigger companies like SMS mm. pull up the smaller companies. Okay. And in that way, they are gaining experience. But then also, um, this discussion that you've brought up uh, takes me to the point of uh, Usife. I, I think there's Usife, is the Usife 2023, yes. Uh, the right. forum and exhibition. Yes. Okay. That's the Uganda. Um, Construction Infrastructure uh, Forum and Exhibition mm. 2023 uh, that is being organized by UNAPSEC. Mm. Um, it's going to be, it's a twin event Im involving a two-day high-level forum mm. where we are going to discuss critical issues uh, pertaining to the construction industry. Uh, we are organizing it in collaboration with Ministry of Works and Transport. Mm. But we are not without partners. That's we have right. uh, Tembo Steels, Uganda Limited, Plasco Uganda Limited. We have Dot Services. We have uh, SMS, very own construction. Uh, SMS Construction and, and so many others. So we are looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. We are expecting, uh, we are going to be graced by uh, His Excellency, the President of Uganda, mm -hmm. as our guest of honor. And uh, we have a keynote speaker who's Professor P.L. Olumumba. I'm sure you've heard a lot about him. When is yes. this event and where? It's going to be now the forum is going to be on 14th and 15th of December, December. 2023 
at the Kololo Independence Grounds. Mm -hmm. Now the exhibition is going to be run for four days from the 14th to the 17th of December 2023 still at the Kololo Independence Grounds mm -hmm. and it will provide an opportunity to um, different industry stakeholders to showcase their products and services to a very diverse audience so we okay. welcome everyone to come. SMS construction, yes. what should we look out for at the exhibition? So, SMS construction mm. will definitely be at the exhibition and will definitely be at the run. Mm. Um, SMS is a fast grain construction company which is primarily owned by indigenous Ugandans. Mm. Um, we are taking on a number of projects, that is the Marriott Hotel, the construction of the Inspectorate of Government Headquarters, we have the ETCL headquarters. Wow. Yeah, we have a number of groundbreaking projects mm. at the moment. And we expect to showcase some of our knowledge, mm. some of our innovations in construction at the moment. For example, using of post tensioning in construction projects. Um, using of what? Post tensioning. It's, a, it's an innovative okay, technology. <laughs> yes. It's an innovative <laughs> technology in construction. All right. And uh, SMS itself is a vertically integrated company mm. and may be one of the construction companies that does in house services of HVAC, which is, which is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. Mm. We do electrical installations, mechanical installations. Okay. We have a, a fully fledged carpentry workshop mm. so we expect to showcase a lot of what we have mm. a lot of what we know to the different people and also learn from the other people that can come and in for the exhibition all right when's the run quickly um yes uh, let me point out i don't want us to miss out any detail usife has the forum and the, and exhibition. the exhibition yes and but there are also two other activities uh -huh. we have the run on 17th december yep. uh, 2023 and um, the, it's part of our corporate social responsibility as UNABSEC, and uh, the proceeds of this run are going to be used to purchase hospital beds for different river, uh, regional referral hospitals uh -huh. i'll give you a few statistics very uh, quickly yes the parliamentary committee on health uh, made a, a, a study in October of last year and we see that the, from this study that the number of road accident victims being admitted in regional referral hospitals has been steadily increasing from 2019 which was 14,000 up to 2022 where we have it at 24,000 okay. so um, we, we've organized this uh, this run in regard to that and we also have a blood donation drive um, with the theme of give blood and share life with a road accident victim. We've organized different blood donation centers from 11th to 17th December 2023. We have Kalere Market, Kololo Independence Grounds, Constitutional Square, um, Mini Price, uh, um, Mukwanaked opposite Mini Price, Nachi Vubo Muse, and so many others. So we call upon the public to come and participate. Okay. How do you participate? Mm -hmm. You can go to our website www.unabsec.co.ug if you want to participate either in the forum or to exhibit. The rates are there. We have stores of 4.53 million. Mm. You can also get information on how to participate in the run and the blood drive, or you can call. We have event coordinators, um, Helen, on 0756 843 350, and Mike on 0774-992-514. All right. I thank you very much. That was very extensive. Yes. Uh, Mariam Namia, UNABSEC board member uh, for the perspective on the construction industry and the upcoming events. So many thanks to you too. Martha Namuaya, project manager at SMS Construction. Well, we are now going into a business update very quickly, so it doesn't mean you just go replenish with a cup of coffee and then the discussion shall be right up. You're watching Morning at NTV.